Hi, this is Kevin, a reviewer submerged at the Classic Game Room Underwater Headquarters. Now since I have a little bit of catching up to do, I figured I might as well review 24 games at the same time. That's right, this is Midway Arcade Treasures. So if you've played any video games ever, you've probably played something published by Midway, as they were the leading producers of arcade games in the US until the end of the 80s. The following decade, they shifted gears into the home gaming market to some success, but since 2000 they struggled to make any profit and finally went bankrupt in 2009. But thanks to collections like this, their legacy can still live on. This first volume of Midway Arcade Treasures encapsulates some of the highlights of their back catalog from the 80s, putting 24 fun and fast classics at your fingertips without having to worry about running out of quarters. Ooh. Warrior is about to die. So what games are included, you ask? Well, uh, here goes. 720, Blaster, Bubbles, Defender, Defender 2, Gauntlet, Joust, Joust 2, Clax, Marble Madness, Paperboy, Rampage, Rampart, Road Blasters, Robotron, Rip Bear Tapper, Satan's Hollow, Sinistar, Smash TV, Splat, Spy Hunter, Super Sprint, Tubin, and Vindicators. Now that's a mouthful of arcade action. And for lack of time, I won't really be able to delve deep into each individual game. As much as I'd love to talk your ear off about the philosophical undertones of Sinistar all day. Beware, I live. But I'm willing to bet you've probably played at least half of these before anyway. And all of the games are near perfect replications of their arcade counterparts. Minus a beat up joystick and uh, the quarter slot that spits your money back in your face whenever you're trying to continue on Smash TV. Damn it, Mutoid Man, I almost had you. What we can take a closer look at is how the games are presented. So, we've got this uh, Egyptian tomb menu thing going on here. It's kind of weird, but it does the job. And for each game, you can adjust some options, like difficulty, number of lives, and your controls. And you can also save all of your high scores. And here's something for the real nostalgic nerds out there. Each title has some supplemental features surrounding the game's history. You can view images of old cell sheets, read about the game's original development, or even watch videos of interviews with some of the designers. While watching clips of Eugene Jarvis might bore some people to tears, others might think they're the most exciting thing to grace their home console. And as far as the game selection goes, you really can't go wrong here. There's a wide array of gameplay styles, multiplayer action, and plenty of replay value as you try and hone your jousting skill, or finally drive through all the levels of road blasters with unlimited continues. And if you're finding that one of your favorite Midway classics is missing from this collection, odds are it's in Volume 2 or 3. So if you consider yourself a fan of classic arcade games, I highly recommend this as one of the best collections out there. Robotron alone is worth the price of admission for me. So we've been watching the GameCube version here today, but you'll be happy to know it's also on PS2 and Xbox. So let's warp back in time and relive the arcade glory days with Midway Arcade Treasures.